Hello YouTube, I'm not Danny. Um, so today I launched my first Yeezy raffle. So we've done £20 per ticket and there's going to be a total of 25 tickets. So that comes up to £500 which is obviously good. Um, but yeah, so it's it's going it's not going the best we've only sold one ticket at the moment but we haven't really we've been pushing it a bit and not whatever but like it we haven't like sort of dug deep to like just sort of go to people direct in person and whatever and saying oh would you like to buy a ticket whatever um so there's a lot more to do but just at the moment just like launching it we only got one ticket sale which not the best but again it's just all learning experiences and whatever but yeah so um but what i've found is that it's made me think now as well, like I should just be doing it anyway, but at least I've sort of learned that as I'm doing this. Um, yeah, I've, I've been like, as soon as we posted, I was like, oh, do you know what, I'm just going to message loads of people, start messaging people like with big big followers and um, or like even with like a small amount, whatever. But I've been messaging a lot of people and then just like little opportunities have arose. So I've um, seen that there was a personal shopper who's just starting out and I said, oh yeah, well, if you want, we can collaborate and like I'll sort of somehow get you some exposure if you could just like put this up because I thought, chances are, that's just going to be all his friends who have just followed his like new personal shopping page. So I thought, there's like 100, 200 of his friends who aren't really going to, they might buy off them, they might not, but um, I thought, that's just all his friends. So that's like 100, 200 of this guy's friends are all going to see if he puts our content on his story and puts like tags us and whatever so i thought oh yeah and then also i found um like for instance there was this guy who would messaged us he's only young a young guy but he'd messaged us in the past saying oh have you got these and for whatever reason we'd somehow missed his message and it was just there unread and i thought oh my god like that's so bad like there's a customer definitely not going to want to message us back again because we've not seen it and he'll just think, oh, yeah, they're, they're no good then. But so I thought, you know what, let's let's turn this around. Let's get this customer back. So I messed him and went, oh, I'm really sorry, like an apology kind of thing, uh, saying like we didn't mean to not um, read your message and whatever, not reply. We could have got you the, um, the product that you were asking for, but we, you must have got lost in all the messages. Really sorry about that. Um, at the moment we have a, a Yeezy raffle and I said like um, if there's a way I'll try to get your free ticket um, but if not we'll try to compensate you in another way and he was like oh yeah yeah that's cool that's cool um, I went if you could could you put us on your story because he, he, had, he had like a thousand followers so I thought come on uh, you don't ask you don't get um, and he said yeah yeah for your great customer service um, yeah because like obviously he's wanting to get something from it and like I'm obviously trying to offer him something in return and he he obviously took the chance and thought, oh yeah, go on, and like sort of tried to give me value to then give him value, which is fine by me, <laughs> and yeah, and then he um, he said I'll ask all my boys, and I said oh yeah, well if you get if you <laughs> if you could get a a few tickets sold, then like if you get like, a few tickets, like I'm thinking like two or three tickets sold, I'll I'm more than likely to give him a free ticket because like good work paid off, um, so yeah, so I've done that then. I seen this other guy who just followed us because we were on other people's stories. So I messaged him and said, um, almost went down the same avenue. Obviously, not never apologised for for nothing, but like, um, I sort of spoke to him and said, oh hey, like what this easy raffle, whatever. Um, and he said, oh yeah, I I'll have a look. I'll ask my boys. And then I I sort of said, oh yeah, like he said, I'll ask round, hundred percent for you. So I said, oh well, if you could get a few tickets sold, um, we'll we're more. Than happy to give you a free ticket so yeah if these guys like get me like they're kind of doing selling for me in the in the hope that oh i'll get my free ticket and they could win and like potentially they could like if they do get a few tickets sold like i'm more than happy to give them a ticket because why not do you know what i mean like it's 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 good do you know what i mean they've saved me a heart like a job of having to go around and sell them and that whatever but yeah it's good so it just also got me thinking about a few more new things and new ideas new avenues of like thoughts and that so yeah like um it's good it's one of them though like i don't want to every time i'm just doing one thing like because i've messaged all these people because after i'm doing the easy raffle now where i should also just be networking with these people anyway and then 
it sort of can happen a bit more naturally than abruptly like hey do this do you know what I mean like I want to I don't want to be like that so I want to sort of build relationships with people a bit more like network a bit more often um, but yeah so it's good and um, we are messaging some like high profile clients that we've got on our personal shopping page and um, they were like saying oh yeah like not really into Yeezys and I said well if we could give you a free ticket if you put it on your story like they've got some of these have got like 200,000 followers I was going on their story like surely you could get like three or four tickets sold just from being on their story like surely but yeah like see what happens but that's what happened today basically uh, then I watched the match oh my god Liverpool Football Club wow you don't not don't half know how to stress me out but like business I don't really get that stressed out <clears throat> sorry don't don't really get that stressed out about it like about business and that like yeah we got one ticket sold but yeah I'm not too stressed I'm sort of just thinking nah we'll, get, we'll, get, we'll do this quite confident but Liverpool Football Club wow yeah so watching the match it's against Everton you know local derby so big match and we go 1-0 up yes get in great whatever and then literally like we just concede this goal kind of near the end like 20 minutes left to go and then oh my god stress 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 and then on his debut his first game for the club, we paid £75 million for our new centre-back, Van Dijk. And he just goes and scores a header on his debut. And I, unbelievable. I, I, I'm absolutely devastated. I never got a ticket for the game. Um, I've got the season ticket, but I never paid for the FA Cup or like Cup scheme. And I don't know why I never, but yeah, that would have been a great game to go to. Um, but yeah, he scored on his debut, so buzzing from that. And just getting all these good vibes from the match and whatever, because we won. So I'm just happy, 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 happy. But yeah, and oh yeah, as well. Like I went on my run yesterday. Jesus, I've been running a lot more lately. Like I used to do a lot. I mean, a lot of running when I was younger. When I was a kid, like I used to run for like Liverpool, and I, whether it was like short distance or long distance, like I was pretty good at both. And yeah, like went on that run. Been doing a lot of running lately because once I get back into it. And miss doing, you know what I mean? It's just, I don't know, I, I love it. And yeah, like, my knee now, wow. Kind of, I don't know if it injured my knee or it's just a bit rusty. I don't, I don't know. But yeah, I'm feeling, feeling it today. So no running today. Let's see how my knee is tomorrow. Maybe go on another run. Take you guys with me. But that's everything that happened today. Um. So yeah, I'll see you guys again. See you in a bit, guys. Peace. I'm not Danny.